keep thinking like what do what do they do for you what what is the act of taking the photos developing them like printing them like having them like what does it do for you psychically i do think that it was therapeutic for me it was it was therapy because i'm looking it's it's forcing me to look at something that i'm a part of questioning ambivalent um there's so much for me the act the act of photographing my family it's like you're holding something very complicated still for as long as you need to be able to work through its paradoxes or, or its enigmas and it never ends because probably any of these photos meant something when you were taking it and will mean something a year later. Yeah, and they change. The it temporality changes. of it. Like, exactly. Can you say something about that? Well, I look at this and I, and I, first of all, I miss these people and I feel like they had such, they came here, they built their American dream, they are standing proud. When I made this picture, maybe I was a little more critical, it was loving, but, but I look at them and I'm like, wow, I'm so proud to be their granddaughter. And, and there's something about, you know, the furs are a symbol of like, we've arrived, we've made it in America. So to me, it has a whole other, I, I wasn't aware of that. To me, it has this um, kind of, um, it kind of symbolizes uh, like the American dream. Yeah, and it's all in there. Your work has a lot of, to me, I mean, you know, uh, I don't know how you feel about people interpreting your work. No, no, I'm, I'm here for it. But it has, <laughs> it has uh, it's full of irony. It's full of complexity of yes, both and. Both and, in, in all of it. It's, it's, uh, it's sort of, you can't simplify things and kind of, the more I sit with your work, the more I feel like it has so many layers that are speaking with each other. And, and you, I, 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 originally I was trying to like come to some kind of conclusion. Wait, what does she think about her family? And then the more I sit with this, I'm like, oh my, this is like, it's full of contradictions and ambivalence and, and love and questioning and making my way into your work and seeing this. It's there like, it's layered, it's so layered, right? There are three different gazes here, uh, very different from each other, including like, you know, a different species. <laughs> and they're, they're all sort of in this container of the photo, s looking at us, and we're looking at them, and, and where do you locate yourself, and who are you identified with, and who's looking at who? I, it's it's your work is so much about that. It, it it sort of as a as the one looking at it, you immediately have to locate yourself and figure out what is your relationship to these people with their very obvious class identification and 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 religious and race identification. Um, and that's why I find the work so ironic because you're so loving and it's so beautiful and, and, and seductive and yet there's so much critique in it. Can you say something about being the one, the one who takes the photos? Like what does it do? Like a woman who takes the photos, the one, the one who owns the gaze on the other. It's a, it's a dance. It's a, you know, the camera acts sometimes as um, the mediator, the interpreter. Um, it's, but it's become so much of me that it's not, my family doesn't even notice it anymore. So it's just part of me now. But it. But for example, are there, moments, let's say with your family, or not with your family, but let's say with your family since we're in that domain, where picking up the camera and taking the photo changes something about who's the narrator of what's going on? Yes, of course. It's, um, I'm 
I'm framing the situation. I'm mm -hmm. interpreting it. I'm choreographing it mm -hmm. to some extent um, and directing it. Yeah. So for sure, for sure. And do you, but you, you're also, it makes you the author of the family narrative. That is, that's correct. There are people who are in the family and are, say, they've read the book and they said, this is your version. Do you, can you say something about what it's like to see your mom kind of affiliated with such a different, let's say, political ideology? Again, it really felt, I, I didn't have words. I truly didn't have words. I was kind of just um, speechless. <laughs> I couldn't. Um, so, so that's when the camera, when you ask about what the camera did, the camera was really kind of helping me because it forced me to look at my mom. Confront, we confronted each other and talk about it. And I was just fascinated because, you know, this is a photograph that when certain people see it who are really close to my mom and love my mom are really horrified and really upset. And my mom loves this picture. So it's like a Rorschach test in a way, yeah. you know, and that's what's also really interesting about photography. It's like we all look at things, we all look at the same thing in so many different ways. And, and that's also what's so interesting about the medium. Something that is, that asks us to think about this what are we seeing here? The class, the, the, the race, the, it's, it's, you're asking us to position ourselves and, and, and think while you're loving them, while you're saying they're my parents. Do you want to say something about the dinner, deciding to go to the dinner and? Oh, well, well, Orna said in the beginning, like, but she stayed and she ate the turkey. Right, that was <laughs> it our bothered, first conversation. That was our first conversation. I'm like, like why did you? Orna's judging me. I'm like, oh my goodness, Orna's judging me. Wait, but she's supposed to be the therapist who's not judgmental. Right. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh my goodness, wait, right. what's going on? Right. Right. So I am actually curious why you questioned my eating the turkey with my family. Right. I'm 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 questioning that too. I mean I'm I mean I'm sure all of us are in this dilemma of like, what do you do when you're faced with such kind of extreme divides that we're living now, such, such polarization, <coughs> and when you feel like you're committed to a certain, let's say, ethic and, and ideology and, and, and a certain view of reality and, and the other party is like, you feel like they've gone off the deep end and they're like threatening your everything you believe in. And, you know, I'm a couples therapist, so I know that these are all kind of ways that we organize similar materials and kind of polarize them. I know all about splitting. That's my bread and butter of my work. And yet I sometimes can't help but get really caught in it. And then I ask, you know, sort of more of an activist question of like, when is it time to say I'm not eating the turkey and this has gone too far and I'm not participating in this? And, and mm. sort of the, the incredible background, the, the golden background of golden because of the colors are often so golden the golden background of love that it kind of infuses everything you do despite the incredible rifts and pains and ambivalences. Um, and I feel kind of inspired, like you're, rather than come to you with my position of like, why'd you eat the turkey? I feel like I wanna go into your work and take from it kind of the inspiration of how to stay with love and with compassion and with tolerance for a difference. And I want your work to tell me how to do that. When we talk about love, this picture happens to be one of my favorite pictures in the whole book because it really is just, you know, like embodies love because, you know, we're in the middle, in the very beginning of um, lockdown um, and it was my birthday in April. 
and were kind of also in the biggest heated arguments over text. And I was very angry at my family, um, my parents at that time. And But who drives hours to just see us through a window and bring a cake? It's my family. So you can't, I mean, I have no words for that. Well, there is something about, I mean, that's why art, photography, that's why we need those spaces which are, they're in between spaces, they're in between like the hard material of reality and complete uh, abandon to fantasy. The, there's kind of an intermediary space where we can, we can enter this kind of play space where we can try to imagine, okay, what it's like, what is it, what could it be like to be like that? Could we maybe try to imagine it like that? Can we feel a little bit love for this one? There's, there's, that's what art does for us. Yeah, and I did, I, I, when I think about it, you know, with everything, it's like the, it's the nuance that's so important, right? No one, there's no nuance left right now, you know, but, you know, social media, every, there's, it's just flattened the nuance. So what I hope to do um, is somehow is, is live in the nuance and engage in the nuance. You can't just write someone off. You know, we can't be defined by one thing. We're so many things at once. And that's what I really wanted to do with this work. Um, that was really important to me.